Guess I'll follow this forest trail. And find ourselves in this section. I'll go forward one more time to see what's over here. It's a beach. A rundown boat is rocking in the waves. That boat will not be good enough to row off the island. Always need some excuse why we can't leave, right? Alright, well, I'm gonna turn back around. This is apparently the beach. If I need to go to the beach for some reason, I'll remember that's there. Which I guess left is the other way we can go. Fancy cliff location. I peeked down the cliff. The darkness restricted the view of the bottom. The wind blowing up from the depths carried a bloody smell in the air. Oh, I ever so do wonder what could be over there. Or down in that pit, really. Well, I guess I'm gonna go talk to that old man again. Since he flashed by in those weird flash scenes that we both saw. So, yeah. Anything there? No? Alright. To the old man! way to him should be this way. Take me to your hut, old man, and soon I too will be able to actually, I guess, figure out what the fuck he's flashing by. I understand that he's trying to ward off devils, but what the fuck am I seeing? Let's go talk to him. Hello, the elderly. Oh, you gasa. Let me tell you something important. There is a mysterious legend on this island. That is, when the path leading to Death Spring turns white, the island will perish. As far as I remember, it was never happened in the past. Of course, the island would not exist today if it had happened. But when I passed by the path yesterday, I noticed that the root of a nearby tree was turning white. It seems to be normal today, but I just can't get it off my mind. Can you let me know if you find any changes? Okay. When the path leading to Death Spring turns white, what's going to happen? Who knows? Uh, while you're thinking about it, I mean, uh, we're not really islanders here. I think we want to get it off, maybe. Maybe not. It's morning. Hmm. My sleepy eyes gradually get focused on a piece of paper that was slid into the hut. Come to the meeting place. Well, thankfully I know exactly where that is, so let's go. Let's go off to the meeting place. It's just straight ahead by a few trees. I'll just pass 502 trees and take a left. Let's go that way. Hello, my homies of anyone, except the keen. By the way, Ugasa, today is an important day. We have an annual festival. Everyone on the island will take part. Anyway, do you know where Tochis is? No, I don't see him. Isn't he here? I can't find him anywhere. He would never forget the festival. Ugasa, do me a favor. Go find him, will you? Okay. I guess I'm going to Tochis' house. Guess he want to pay up those favors. I'm just kidding. That was a different guy there. Tochis is the one that I think that we defeated in combat. And he won't accept that we won in combat, so yeah. He'll be at the end of the way. This way, I believe, is his cabin. I'm happy that their names are kind of odd. I actually remembered who he was. I haven't memorized all the names, but he was the last one I talked to because I messed up. Oh, blood. Ugh. It was covered with blood, and the stench filled the hut. Bile rose up my throat and into my mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go from there. I guess I should report to everyone that he's kind of splattered all over the wall. They'll ask, where is Tochus? And I'll be like, oh, he's in his hut. Why'd you get him? Well, which part of him was I supposed to get? What do you mean? 
He was splattered all over the walls. Might as well, let's go over that way. To the left? Sure. Might as well, really. Hut, hut. Let's talk to these lovely people. Did you find Tochus yet? No. Something terrible has happened. Tochus' hut is covered in blood. What? Is he dead? Perhaps. There was a pool of blood in his hut. So, you didn't see his body, correct? No, not inside the hut, but it looked like something was dragged out. Let's go see. They had me wait in front of Tocha's hut. I don't see his body here. Uh, that guy? Uh, what was his voice? I can't find it outside either. It is this really the blood of Tocha's? Since Tocha's is missing, that would be the logical assumption. Jackie, what do you think? That idiot must have done it. Who? Ogasa, there was nothing wrong when we came here last time. He must have killed Tochis while we were waiting in the meeting place. He must have dumped the body in the bushes nearby. Ugasa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. We're going back to the meeting place. Ugasa, did you do it? Of course not. When I went to the hut, it was already covered in blood. That's a lie. When we went there, it was morning, there was nothing wrong. I know nothing about it. Please trust me. Tyros, can you go with Yugasa to check there one more time? Uh, sure. You may find some clues to solve it. Ugasa, let's go. What's keeping you? Hurry up! We're going to Tochus' hut. Okay. I'll go along my way. Yeah, I guess it's this way there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe he's fine. He's with her walk and left all the blood behind. Afraid it'd slow him down, obviously, there. I like to leave my blood behind, too, when I decide <laughs> it's too much weight to carry. Oh, this is... What's the matter? Footprints. Big footprints. Do you think that belongs to some kind of animal? Perhaps it's Largy. Largy? Oh, that's wicked beast. It must have been hiding somewhere. Are you talking about a predator? Yes, it's an extremely dangerous animal. Is it big? It must be as big as a young elephant. Tyros, please wait a moment. Do you really think Largy did it? Who else do you think would do such a thing? Look at the footprints. Well, but if Largy is as big as a young elephant, how did it get into the hut without breaking the entrance? I see. You're right. You guys are smart. Then, did you do it? Excuse me? Did you do it just as we thought? I swear to God that I didn't do it. Well, I guess you wouldn't say anything that'll be a disadvantage to you. Where in the world has Tochus gone to? Everyone joined in searching for Tochus, but we couldn't find his body anywhere. Same was burning sage and same sage, uh, and praying all day. Some people on the island apparently avoided me, but I try not to mind it. Wait a minute. Was Kara there among the people who gathered at the meeting place? Gotta turn around. I guess I have to go talk to Kira now. 
Kuro is the guy who was trying to be all friendly, and I think he was the one that actually owed favors there. I thought at first that was Tochis, but no, uh, Tochis was the one who fought me to the death. I think all these people look the same to me, though. I'm just... No, but in earnest, some of the characters just only slightly appeared. Kuro's the one that we've only met once, so yeah. I... And they both have cabins next to each other. Kuro, I believe, is the one over here. Yep, Kuro's hut. He must have come here recently. There aren't many Thanes in Kuro's hut like the others. I guess it's time to go investigate. So Kuro wasn't in his hut. I'll take out Chochis's hut one more time, and then I guess I'll go talk to the king. Chochis's hut, yep. No one decided to clean up the hut. Turns out that Tochis' blood lining the walls is actually a good luck charm, and the prices in hut living will actually go up if they keep the blood on the walls. Alright, let's go talk to the chief there. Ugh, okay. Chief will be my first concern. There you are. Darren's hut. Darren's missing. It's a splendid sword that Darren entrusted or got from his ancestors, but Darren himself is missing. I guess Seam is the one I'm gonna have to check with. He's the old man. I'm first gonna see if he this guy's in his hut at all, just because I'm here, so I might as well check. Jargi's hut, that's the guy that I investigated with. No, they're all missing. It's a very rare animal skin. Alright, I guess I'll turn around and leave back out there. They all live in huts, though. This is their hutville. Let's go off into the forest. I'll look at the meeting place. And then if they're not there, I'm gonna go check out uh, the other people's huts in the eye. Yep, they're all the meeting place. Got it. Oh, Yugasa! This time, Kura disappeared. What on earth is happening? People are staring at me with suspicion. We headed for Kira's hut. I was just there. Kira! We can't find his body! We won't survive the bleed he won't survive the bleeding. Oh, let's see. Listen, Tyros, do you really think Largy did all this? Oh no, that's a different person actually. Do you think a big beast like Largy can roam around without his nose? I don't remember the voice I gave him. I believe it's most natural to think that way. No, it's not. I don't believe it. The guy who did it was... Ugasa. It's gotta be him. Ugasa? Jaggy, who is Ugasa? Dad, wake up. The guy who came to the island recently. The guy? The guy? I don't know who you're talking about. Dad, are you going nuts? It's Yugasa, remember? Yugasa? 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 They seem to be lost in conversation. Yugasa! Yugasa! Yes, I'm leaving. I don't really know where to go from here, but I'll ask a few points. Out this way I go. I'll first check the party zone. I think it might actually be off in the beach area that we were at earlier, but. This place got banned very quickly. I'm gonna first check with the old man, though. Say that name one more time, I'll kill y'all. Oh, dear. Let's go through the woods. I 
Sure, I'll check out the shed. Same's hut. Is he actually in right now? Yes, he is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jackie, are you safe? Yes, so far. Same, do you remember you, uh, do you remember you told me about the white path to Death Spring? Can you tell me more about it? Jackie, what are you talking about? Death Spring, white path? I don't know what you're talking about. I want you to tell me. Same, are you going nuts too? You idiot, you're the one who's nuts, squawking nonsense. You're interfering with my prayer, go away. Ugasa, people on the island are suspicious of you. Some think that the solution to the matter is to get rid of you. Especially Jaggy. He's one who's promoting this idea. Even Darren is saying that you brought a wicked demon into the island. I didn't do it. <laughs> it's easy to say that. Can you prove it? Well... If you can't prove your innocence, people may suspect you, right? Ugh. I know you did. Who did? I know who did it. It's you, Ugasa. Wait, wait a minute. Same. Why do you say I did it? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> it seems to be working for you now. Never mind. Come closer to me. How is it? Doesn't it smell nice? It's sage. Breathy then deeply. Does it make you feel at ease? I found myself in my hut. Was I dreaming? Uh, just the chief here. Same as hut. Not the chief, I mean. No, he's gone now. Alright. Like, there's a few different points where I can imagine they might be at the moment, so I guess I'll go that way. Out into the woods! Let's see if there's anything going on in the ceremony chambers, but I bet it might be the beach or the pit. I bet they're gonna push me in the pit. Calling it now is totally gonna happen. Yeah, no, they're not here. Time to check either the beach or the pit, I bet. Let's go that way and yar. I was supposed to wear sage was slain for chloroform. Oh dear. Well, no one's at the beach, so it must be the pits. There, they're all hiding up on the cabin somewhere. Let's go this way and yai. The path, the path is turning white. I rubbed my eyes. The path is obviously turning white. Do I tell people about that? Where do I tell them? I don't know where the people are. So I'm gonna go through the woods again. I will check out the meeting center, but if there's no people there, okay. Time to turn back around and investigate more people there. Into the woods again. I'll start off the chief's hut and see what happens there. Darren's hut. They're actually all mostly in here. Okay, good guess there, me. 
Oh no, the path to death spring is turning white. What? Kill him! Uh? Shaggy, calm down. Kill him! I kill him and we'll put an end to all this. Kill him right now! If no one wants to do it, I will. Oh, oh, I heard, held my head. I had a terrible headache that I never had before. Head, hey, you. I can hear a voice from somewhere. Hey, you, are you really Ugasa? Yes, I am. Even if not a single person on the island knows you. What, what do you mean? Who are you? I don't know either. Ugasa, can you hear me? Yes. I don't even remember my own actions. I'm going to the White Path now. I'm not sure what I would do over there. Can you get there before me and wait for me? And can you find out who I am and watch what I am doing there? <laughs> I guess I can do just that. To the white path. I find this bit of the story interesting. I'm not sure how it's related, but I find it intriguing, I would say. Appealing in a weird, odd sort of way. I've had it seems to be like two different parallel storylines going on at once. One where no one seems to know where I am, and it's all crazy, and just me and a few odd things here and there. I hid in the bushes and kept waiting. Someone is coming. Who is it? Of course, it's the one that is accusing me of killing people. It's the one killing people. Before I knew it, I held the sword tightly. As I felt a cold sweat down my back, I strained my eyes to see in the dark. I jumped out of the bushes. Who are you? Come on, it's obvious who it is. Jackie. Jackie, are you the one who killed them? Who, who are you? Don't you remember me? I'm Ugasa. This island will perish when the path turns all white. Perish? What do you mean by that? Throw away the sword that you're holding and use this one. And beat me with it. Please wait. Real spinning action. Die! Jaggy, what are you doing here? Who is it? Why were you swaining the sword? So it was you who killed them. I noticed you've been acting strange lately. Where? Where are you? As I said, it's like two realities melding together or something. Jaggy, did you burn? Why, who did you burn? Your dad? Did you kill the chief? I'm fucking all these voices next up, that's okay. I blew that I beat up and die. Is there a body? Is there anybody there? Yeah. <laughs> Tyros. I knew it was you. Give my dad back to me. 
Who are you? What are you doing here? It's Ugasa. Don't you remember me? Never heard that name, by the way. Where's Gunvis? Gunvis? Who is that? Don't play dumb. <laughs> you must be Jackie's partner and another maniac killer. Ow. Stop. I know nothing. People started dying one after another after since Gunvis came here. I lost sight of the truth when I had believed Gunvis was responsible for it. Only myself, Old Man Seam, and a few other people survived. We're going to die if we don't do anything, but I'll kill you before you do it. What's the use of killing me? How would we live here when you, who killed our company, are still alive? Stop it! Taros, die! So was there really two realities that were kind of melding with each other? That's what it seems like. One with the Yugas, and one with the Gungas, whatever that was. I am passing out. Clark's memo. The following nine suspects are wanted. Tyros, age 32, leader. Darren, 37, advanced guard. Seam, 62, intelligence agent. And now suddenly they're U.S. government people? Because that's what they look like in the pictures. Jaggy, 17, combatant. Tochis, 21, combat trainee. Setki, 26, female spy. Malba, 18, commando. Dagil, 35, pharmacist. Sammy, 21, female field agent. We, Arm, a team that was secretly organized by the government, finally located their hideout. The mission of the 11 members of Arm is to bring them back to justice. Day 1. A serious accident occurred. The ship hit something with one mile left to go. The other 10 members fell through the breach to the hole and disappeared. I was on the deck when it happened and took a lifeboat to nearly escape death. I was the only survivor left to try to accomplish this important mission. The problem is that there are no means to return home, and the only communication device sink into the sea with the ship. I'll go to the island anyway. God only knows if I can return alive or not. Fortunately, I had all my belongings with me. I'll check the con uh, contents. A silencer, gun, clothes, dictionary, rope, satirica, photos and maps of the island, remote control, bombs, gas mask, and a little food. Day 2. I sailed in the deep forest so that they won't find me. This island is the perfect hideout. I think they're pretty smart. Since the beginning of the year, the terrorism has, that ruled our country became the center of mass media's attention worldwide. Our original plan was to bring them back to trial in the home country. Because of the unexpected accident, it is now impossible for me to bring them home. I decided to work out a plan that could be accomplished all by myself. Day 3. I came up with the ultimate strategy, but the chances of success will be slim. I have no choice but to execute it. I must wait until the leader Tyros is alone. Day 4. I encounter a large animal in the forest. Smaller dead animals are scattered about. The beast must be pretty brutal. I've got an idea. It is vital that they don't find out my identity as a member of ARM. I'll take advantage of this beast. Day 5. Finally he showed up. I captured Tyros who came to fish and tied him up. I took him to my place in the forest. After a struggle, I had him swallow a capsule bomb. It can be remote controlled. Now Tyros is under my control. I'll go visit the village with Tyros tomorrow. I'll pretend to be a spy who reports directly to him. Day 6. 
Tyros explained to the other members as follows, We're facing intimate danger. This is Korra, whom I sent to the government as a spy. He has returned to help. I acted my role and told them made-up stories. I vividly remember the eyes of the people were staring at me earnestly. As I expected, Tyro seemed to have a, the absolute power over them. Nobody showed my suspicion towards me. Showed any suspicion towards me. It is going well. Day seven. I asked old man Seem to go to the forest with me, saying I wanted advice from him. I killed him with a dagger. I dismembered the body and threw it into the sea for the sharks to clean up. I hurried to the village. I'll be doomed if they find out. I managed to get to Seam's hut and opened my bag. I put on the mask and burned the star of Satyr Groundstaff Sage. It is a strong hallucinogen. In about an hour, its hallucinogen effects reach as much as 150 feet away. I burned Satergia for two hours to avoid any mistakes and visited all the huts, saying that Kura would come home late because he wanted to visit many places. They were slaving, or they were slavering and watching me with vacant eyes. I was not sure if they could hear me. Day 8. Sar or Satyriga's effect became rampant. Tyros was the first one to show and new symptoms. The minute he came here, he started screaming, Where's Gunbis? Jaggy started saying to me, You're Yugasa. There is no Yugasa or Gunbis. I've read an article in the medical journal about an experiment using satargia or satargia. When an, un, or when an undiluted solution of satargia was injected into a female hamster, it became increasingly ferocious day after day, and it gradually started to act like a male. This hamster died on the ninth day, and the autopsy showed apparent indications it was turning into a male hamster. It is the characteristic of Sertargia to create a different personality. It becomes so real that even the person himself will not notice the change. It is an extremely powerful and hazardous drug. I left the Sertargia burning and went to hut Tochis. Tochis' hut is far, so Sertargia may not have enough effect on him. I had to laugh when I heard Jackie calling Darren Dad. Day 9 they seem to have started searching for me. It's been take it's been taking too long for me to just visiting many places to be just visiting many places. I think I should pour Tochi's blood in Kuro's hut. And nobody will look for me. All I have to do is to wait until they kill each other because of Sartargia or Sateriga. I must find out the means to go back to the home country. Day ten. I can't communicate with the headquarters back home. What should I do? I think I should wait to be rescued. Day 11. The only thing I can do now is wait. I seem to be running out of food. I can hear people screaming from all over the island. I may be going crazy like them. Day 12. Will the rescue ship come? I'll probably die here with them. I was filled with resentment. By myself, I destroyed the terrorist group that horrified the world. I did it all by myself, nevertheless. Day 13. I woke up with a voice saying, Are you alright? I was surrounded by a group of armed people. I said, Why don't you kill me now? And they said, What are you talking about? We came to rescue you. You did a great job. Are you hurt? We were supposed to start a rescue mission if there was no contact for 10 days. What happened to them? I said, can you go find out to make sure? When the arm team arrived on the island, bodies of the terrorists were scattered all over the vacant island. How would Clark, who had only a few weapons, kill all the armed terrorists? That would be something we want to ask him in detail when we return home.
Calm down and listen to me. A terrible thing has happened. Sarah started transforming into evil. Hurry, there are limits to my power. Before the sacred shield succumbs to the force, hurry! Change to Juggernaut Disc 1. Oh boy. Let me take a sip of water here. Ah. Okay. Okay.